it is Friday. I'm actually editing the vlog right now. But I wanted to come say hi. It's a little bit late into the day. And yes, I do have a bikini bottoms on because we need to wash clothes. Period. So I'm um, just hanging out. I'm editing this video. Um, these are my nails that I did. If you, obviously, you guys will see it in the vlog. And yeah, so I'm just hanging on out. And yeah. So this is Canva, guys. I use Canva to do my intros, outros, and stuff like that. You just got to really play around with it. And that's another thing I'm trying to do this year is just try to, you know, focus on learning more things. It is, I don't, people don't understand this, but it's really hard as an influencer. You, you got to, like, be up to speed with things. So, and I, it's just something that gets on my nerves, but I have to do it anyway. So, I'm just learning every day how to do certain things. So, I thought that this was really cute. I was able to create this intro. And I think it was simple. It didn't have the picture in the middle before, but then I decided to add the picture and just fade it out a little bit to kind of give it more of an aesthetic vibe. So, I think it, it came out pretty good with the intro song that I, I found. I thought that it came out good. So, like I said, that's another thing I'm trying to do this year. Just trying to... Um, create like stuff and you know learn new things and i also did create an outro as well too thanks for watching dom's live vlogs every monday and friday and obviously for my sponsored content like my hair videos and trying hauls and stuff like that i would try to create an outro for it along with uh my intro i already have an intro but i'm gonna tweak the intro up since i know how to do some more things so the intro that you guys see for my trying hauls and any other video i love that style i'm just gonna go in and tweak it a little bit because i really like what i just created for my vlog intro so so, yeah, but I'm going to try to do outros for the videos and intros, like custom ones. Like I said, you just have to take your time and look at what you like the aesthetics wise. Um, I kind of like these kind of natural, kind of like plain things, not like a lot of graphics and stuff, like crazy like Instagram phones slapping down and your picture popping up with flames. Like, nah, it's not really my style. So I wanted things that were just aesthetically pleasing. So if you have Canva, you can do this on Canva. They have a lot of templates. I use Canva and PicMonkey, but I'm not gonna lie, Canva has the best. So this was super quick, super easy. I had another piece of salmon left over, so I grilled that up. I got some feta, some dressing, some butter lettuce, and then I made a piece of Tesco's toast. The other half will be for my boyfriend, and that's about that. It's just like a little quick meal, you know, you know the deal. went ahead and installed this unit this is the zodiac unit for my first wigs the bangs are kind of long but i'm gonna adjust it tomorrow once i do my makeup and stuff so this is the zodiac wig from myfirstwigs.com and this is the style capricorn so she is a lace frontal wig i did go ahead and put her down lace frontal wig uh, with bangs and the bangs are so pretty i'm just gonna have to go in and trim them up a little bit but I do like a nice fluffy bang like this. So I'm just going to trim it. I like how fluffy it is. It's definitely going to look cute with the half up half down look. I'm probably going to add some flexi rods to her just to kind of buffer out. I don't want her to be curled. I just want her to be a little bit more volume wise. But she is so cute guys. Um, so I installed her. Like I said I usually do a um, one night overnight install. And then tomorrow do my makeup. And then um do like a try and haul and stuff like that but i really really like her so tomorrow's probably going to be a recording day for me so i'm super excited to do my makeup tomorrow and rock her so i'm gonna do something really cute with her i'm gonna trim her up and she's gonna be popping so 
Honestly, today I was so busy editing that vlog. That vlog took forever. The vlog was actually 45 minutes long. So make sure you guys watch my weekly vlog that's up. It went up today on Friday at 8.15 p.m. So it's a longer vlog, so I know to expect that you guys will probably watch it Saturday, Sunday, and definitely on Monday. Everyone picks up watching my videos on Mondays. So Monday I'll get a lot more viewers for that video, and then you guys will get the weekend vlog on Monday. So I'm happy that you guys are enjoying this. I'm having a great time. I'm doing it um, but I'm seeing now that vlogmas this is easier because I'm doing two videos and it's spread out so it's like a 45 minute edit and then like we like a 30 minute edit for the weekend vlog so it's a lot but it's like my life crunched in one like my week crunched in one and I hope it's entertaining to you guys because I'm having a great time so yeah so this is gonna be my little, little hairstyle and I did use uh, the bold hold active this time to test her out you guys know that I got her um, on the weekend uh, a few days ago well yesterday so why is she not focusing yeah so bold hold active is what I use to put her down so yeah pretty late guys um, I'm about to head off to bed I didn't really do that much today because I had that long edit I see you guys love the vlog thank you guys for watching I'm watching you guys answering comments and stuff right now so thank you guys for watching the weekly vlog so I have my pajamas on took my shower I'm all ready for bed I guess um, my boyfriend's already sleeping he was really tired today so he's sleeping now it is actually almost 12 o'clock so I'm going to head off. I wrap my hair and everything. So tomorrow I'm going to do like a glam and do a try and haul and stuff like that. So I'll do all that stuff tomorrow. My background doesn't look... See? I cleaned up. That's my mannequin hair right here. But yeah. So um, tomorrow I'm going to do a try and haul and stuff like that. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I did do my skincare already. Um, I'll show you to you guys tomorrow. But you guys already know my skincare routine. I am getting some new products. So I'll show you guys what I get. And yeah. So um, I'm heading off to bed guys. I'm a little tired now. And yeah. So... Bye. Happy Saturday, my good people. So we are back. So I am kind of like in a makeup mode right now because I did go ahead. Obviously, last night you guys saw I installed this unit in and stuff like that. So she looks super good. So I want to go ahead and finish the video off today just because I can just end it. Now for this unit, I'm probably going to wear in like buns and bangs or ponytails and bangs just because I don't feel like there's that much density on this unit. But you have to watch the hair video to see it. But all in all, I absolutely love this little bang style unit guys I haven't had bangs in a while and like I said this is part of the zodiac collection and this is the Capricorn right here so it's just like the perfect bang look for me so I'm actually making some spaghetti right now I'm gonna have that I'll show you guys and I'm gonna clean the kitchen because we do have to wash clothes tonight so I need to separate the clothes and stuff like that so my goal right now is to make this food because I'm starving. It's already like 3.45 and I need to stop doing that. I think it's because I'm so used to fasting that I just start eating at like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock and not have anything on my stomach for the entire day. Um, I was supposed to start the try and haul stuff today but I realized that this hairstyle is not a try and haul type of hairstyle. The outfits that I have for the try and haul are very like sexy, very, well you know, sexy mixed with kind of like not for this hair stuff basically that's what i mean so if you guys watch my video you guys know my hair has to kind of like my wigs have to match some type of like the style that i'm going for so i'm going to go ahead and switch this one out probably tomorrow because i still like it a lot and i want to rock her for like another day or two and then i'm going to switch her out and do another unit probably the unit i did for my last blue dry and all because i loved it i might do that one again or i might just um do my kinky straight hair so i'm not sure yet but this one just did not make the cut for the try and haul so that's why i kind of cut that idea today so I'm gonna have to clean the kitchen I have to empty the dishwasher out reload it uh, push that one through uh, sweep the floor and everything like that my office is clean I'm just gonna extra tidy it up then I'm gonna separate the clothes out I actually wanted to go to Primark today Primark closes at 9 p.m. so what Dom thinks she's gonna do is go to Primark today which I'm, I'm starting to feel like 100% that I'm gonna go um, even if I leave around like 7 or 6 30 just because I don't want to be there when it's super busy I want to go get some socks some pajamas some new pajamas some new undies because my shit is disappearing and stuff like that so I'm gonna just pick up the basics Primark is very inexpensive so I'm going to King Kings Plaza I will be in Connecticut tomorrow but I'm not driving to Danbury I'm gonna stay 
in my area um, so I'm going to buy new sheets tomorrow I have a lot of keto grocery shopping to do so I'm gonna get all of that done tomorrow I'm going to Trader Joe's and BJ so tomorrow's gonna be more of an exciting day hopefully the weekend vlog was not disappointing I thought the weekly vlog was gonna be disappointing but you guys fucking love it so um, yeah so I'm gonna make this spaghetti um, with my water spoon the spaghetti with the bolognese sauce from Trader Joe's
guys so here goes the beans they're a little bit thick I wanted them to be a little bit thick I did add a little bit of oregano and basil tomato sauce to it just to kind of thicken it up I, did, I wish I should have put tomato paste but I didn't it's fine here goes our chicken nice and crispy y'all see that skin baby pan fried basically not like deep deep fried pan fried and then here goes the Goya yellow rice some people I'm gonna say this some people let the rice sit and cook I gotta toss mines and turn mines while it's in the rice cooker just because you'll get the grains really nice and fluffy this way so and I don't add salt to it so that's another thing do not add salt to the Goya rice because it's already salty so I don't add salt to that I added a little bit of salt to this one but the canned beans has a little bit of salt to it as well and Creole or and if you're Haitian these beans we know it as Poigongo and I really like that when my mom makes it she blends it like like beans Poigongo beans sauce so, so I really like this type of bean Good morning! So I'm on my way to CT. I'm post quarantine right now, so I can go visit my family. You guys know I start keto tomorrow, so I'm going to BJ's, Trader Joe's, Target because I gotta buy some new sheets. Uh, I need to, yeah, it's time to start new sheets for the new year, so I'm gonna dump the sheets we have and just start off with some brand new sheets. And yeah, I'm gonna go see my sisters, have a little brunch with Dan. Um, and yeah, so you guys will see everything that happens today. I guess this will be the fun part of the vlog because this will be more interesting. I'm going out and stuff like that. I am hopping my ass on the I-278 right now. And we are on our way to CT. It should take me about like 35 to 40 minutes. It shouldn't be too crazy. But... Intro. curls today. They're exceptional. Let's see the back of your curls. Look at her curls, guys. I 
told her to do a natural hair videos, but she playing around. I just burped, that was so bad. Our friend Cindy's over there somewhere. You guys have met Cindy before. She's there with her boyfriend over there having a nice din din. So we out of here. We're gonna go see Dar and then go shopping. Glasses. My hands ashy too. My bad, guys. But <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in a minute. If once Dion shows it to you guys, and my hands are ashy. <sighs> oh, sister time, sister time, sister time, sister time. <laughs> Sorry, let's see. <laughs> oh my god, what a way. So you <laughs> put it back. <laughs> yeah, the turkey dogs. Oh. Huh? That whole thing. You want to split it? 16 packs, yeah, 30. Your hand's ashy, girl. Oh my god, so. <laughs> Hot dogs and 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 and, and, ba and uh, ketchup. What, like together? No, yeah, hard. How many people are coming to this? Six. I'll give you three. I take three. We'll be fine. Come on. The guy was standing there. He just swap them out for Gotta get our bacon. One of those. That's the last one. I didn't check if it was Kirk. Oh my god. I'm sure it's Kirk since it's the last one standing. I thought one. Yeah, it is. It is? One is Kirk right there. Oh my god. Is this a crack? Damn it. That's the last one. Damn, what's the big difference? It's a dollar fifty off temporary. This one's good. I have a coupon. That's good. The coupon expired, dummy. <laughs> Take it, you don't even know. Coupon probably expiring. She's trying to clown. So these expire February 20th. I'm sure they'll be done by February 20th before that. So let's check to see if they're cracked on the bottom. And we are looking good. So they got this flavor now vanilla and strawberry. So I'm going to grab one for Dan and one for me. You want one? Or no? What? Uh, okay, I'm going to Target anyways. You sure? Because I'm going to go to Target and get the lemon one, so. Yeah, I I usually get these. The mini one. I never get these. Um, I want to try these in. Uh, no. The best express I get is the one in the prepackaged pack, not that one. I'm gonna get. Yesterday, I was looking for scallions. Like, where did I. Where is that? Green onions, you idiot. Yes, I've looked everywhere for it. My point's up. I don't know. I don't count seasoning. I just don't think that's. I just don't count seasoning. How much is this? $2.99. No, you could try it. This looks good. Right, you put in like some pasta sauce. We won't really be having that much pasta sauce. That's something busy. I like these. The ones on the vine taste the best. You're gonna use use all of them? While you want one? Yes. I'll give you like one or two. Which one should I get? 
I love these. These, these taste the best, and they be the juiciest ones. All right, it has casein on it. This one has no casein on it at all. This is the best one here. Let's focus on everything else but the what's important. Okay, there it goes. So it's zero net carbs, turn to the front. And this is it. So if you like chai latte, go to Stop and Shop. They got this right here. So, yeah. And they have other ones. Is this yeah. caffeine free? These are, the one you have is, so this one has caffeine. But we have, we're, I'm putting a, co a coffee on mine, I don't care. Yeah. All right. What else can, oh, do I need teas? I was in my teas. Pretzels. All right, guys, so this is everything that I got today. I'm going to quickly go over it. Um, obviously, you guys will watch the keto what I eat in a week video to see how everything turns out. I got the stock cold brew. It For 12 fluid ounces, this is three net carbs. I honestly will probably uh, have like six ounces, so you can calculate that yourself. It's basically nothing. I did get the Premier Protein. The Premier Protein shakes, I believe it's one net carb for the entire thing, but I split these, so... It never becomes like a net carb type of situation when you make yourself an iced coffee in the morning. So I'll show you guys this in the video so you guys will see when I make it. I got some eggs. I got my two good yogurts. These are a must have. They do have a new flavor that's lemon. So I'm going to go to Target tomorrow see if I can find the lemon flavor because my sister told me it's sold at Target. So I got to get my hands on the lemon flavor. But these are basic vanilla and strawberry. Can't go wrong with that. I also stocked up on turkey bacon. So I went to two places. I went to BJ's and Trader Joe's. So I got um, the turkey bacon. I also got hot dogs. My sister bought a six pack. Well, the jumbo pack would came with six. So I took three of hers. We got some cucumbers. Um, <clears throat> I lied. I went to Stop and Shop. I also got the chai tea latte. This one has, I showed it to you guys, zero net carbs on this one. So this one is, why aren't you focusing? So this one is pretty keto friendly guys, so I picked this one out and you could just make it yourself a chai latte. I got some zoodles. I also got this from uh, BJ's and this is salted cod. So like bacala, you guys know what this is. So I wanna see if I can make like a little cod dinner or whatever, so I got this. I also got some shrimp from BJ's. I got some green beans from Trader Joe's, some cheese from Trader Joe's. My favorite organic chicken sausage. I did get the ready serve grilled chicken as well too. I got Brussels sprouts. These are the best. I'm telling you guys, if you go to Trader Joe's, get these. You can put them in the air fryer, put them on, under the oven to roast. So freaking good. I also got one onion, some hot, some extra hot salsa. I also got the sofrito mix that uh, Dan recommended. She said this was good, so I picked this one out. Um, it has like a lot of herbs. I love anything that has a lot of herbs, especially when you're doing a lot of chicken and stuff on keto. You want to kind of have different flavored chicken, different things so you don't get bored. So we're going to try this out on Tuesday for Taco Tuesday. Um, I also got the jalapeno sauce. Uh, it's supposed to taste like... Um, the Peruvian sauce Dan said, so I'm gonna try this out. You guys already know on Weight Watchers the sauces because it's fat and it would just be nothing. This one says it's two tablespoons, I mean two grams net carbs for two tablespoons, but the sauce be nothing. Y'all know what I mean. I also got some tomatoes. Eat it sparingly on, on Weight Watchers. People say eat it, don't eat it. People say eat carrots, don't eat carrots. It's all moderation. If you're trying to lose weight, you stay under 20 net carbs, so simple calculations. I don't do macros, so please don't ask me about macros. I have no idea. Um, I heard these were really good. They taste closer to taco, like the actual taco shell. And two of these, the total net carb, well, the total carb is three grams. But if you subtract the fiber on the back, as you guys can see, this one will equal one net carb for two wraps. So I heard that these taste good, so I said I'm going to pick these out. Maybe I'll have these for Taco Tuesday. I also, Dan also gave me this. The Outer Isles has the new everything but the bagel seasoning i was so excited about this so got this one that flavor i also got the italian flavor because i want to do like a quiche a baked quiche i also got my carb balance um for net carb wraps per usual i did also get some coffee i picked out chicken wings and chicken tenderloins and that was that so this is everything that i got for keto if you watch my what i eat in a week video which would be on saturdays so i'll post those the whole what i eat in a week video detail video on saturday so during the weekly vlog you guys will see me eat some things but i'm not going to quite show you guys everything that i make because you have to watch what i eat in a week but y'all know the vibes all right guys so before i quickly run off i did pick up lotion i got this at my mom's house she always be having like extra lotion so 
I took this lotion from mom. I got some gloves as well too. I want to switch out my gloves. The other gloves that I have in the shower are the charcoal gloves. But these are about the same, you know, but they're just not charcoal. I got some scented on. I have to give DN2. I actually left and, and kept all four. I got the Scott toilet paper that this is on. Dan also gave me this Q&A diary book. If I could find a link for this one, I'll leave the link down below. And I'm just going to basically chat down or write everything i'm kind of behind but i was writing everything on a separate piece of paper so i'm just going to enter it in here and it kind of asks you questions and stuff like that today you lost things like that so i thought it was a really nice one you are lucky how are you how so or not so like things like that so it's really cute i also got these this one is the best scent like this one smells so good so i have about three of the actual slots i'm going to just refill them up i uh, did also get some dove as well too and i also got three rolls of paper towel from dan because she had she bought the bulk buy of it and i just needed three because i already have some so that's all the extra extras that I picked. I almost forgot to tell you guys, I did get some avocado. Um, they're actually really small, but they feel like they're going to be ready for the week. So I picked up a bag of avocado, and I wanted to show you guys the Trader Joe's bag I got. This bag is so cute. It was only $2.99. Probably the prettiest bag I've gotten, reusable bag I've gotten from anywhere. Uh, it's so pretty. It was only $2.99. So if you see this, get it. It's cute. All right, guys. So you guys know that before I start keto, I like to do my detox. So I have a, a ginger tea in here along with one smooth move. Um, I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes, but I'm going to drink this. It's actually late right now. I was actually getting an outfit again that I installed a wig, like an old wig that I had, because I want to do that busted challenge tomorrow for IG. So I was trying to prepare, so I'm ahead of the game tomorrow. So because we're starting keto, we're going to take this tea down tonight. It's definitely going to have my stomach rumbling tomorrow, so... You guys will see how I do tomorrow, but I just wanted to show you guys the smooth move. You can get it from Target. I bought this from Target. 